Hello students, welcome to Nalanda plus 2 Science College virtual classes. I am Prasant Rao, the faculty in English at this college. As we have discussed earlier about this uh, topic, this chapter, which is from our invitation 1 English from plus 2. The legend behind a legend is written by Hariharan Balakrishnan. So far as our discussion on unit 1 and unit 2 in our first part of this uh, video, we have that idea, the knowledge about the writer, how he was so passionate to visit Khairi Jasipur and to know about the exploits. He wrote a letter to Sorozra Chaudhary who was known to be a gruff and uh, tough man according to the people who knew, that, knew him. But when he arrived there, he found no gruff and tough man in Sarodhara Chaudhary and he was a no nonsense. He did not allow anybody to disturb him. But when he found him, when he met him, in his first meeting itself he came to know about his personality and his humor. So in our third unit, he narrates about uh, Mr. Chaudhary's meeting, his meeting with uh, Mr. Chaudhary and he writes here, here is the first story that emerged from this uh, very unusual man between sips of coffee. So in his first meeting, in, from the conversation with the person, he came to know about some stories and the first story as uh, Sarojara Chaudhary told as you will see I have different species of wild animals in this house they all came in at different stages of their lives I have debunked the theory that they cannot coexist unless they are together from infancy so, what is uh, the theory about the animals that he debunked? Debunked means uh, disprove. Okay, he disproved. Practical. But there was a theory that when animals of different species were kept in kept together in one place, they cannot accommodate to each other. But he debunked that. Okay, how? He had kept different uh, uh, animals and he had brought them in different stages of their life, but they accommodated together okay, in one place and he debunked that. And he says, one thing I wanted to experiment with was the reaction of a young tiger to a snake. A young tiger and a snake. So, both are different species of animals and when they are kept together, what was the reaction? And he told a story on these two different species of animals and according to him he says as a story one day when Khairi was much younger Khairi the tiger okay a young tiger when it was young much younger we found a baby crate in the house that is the crate okay crate means it is a poisonous snake okay highly poisonous snake when it was found, 
where young tiger was living in the house in the house as you know crate is one of the most poisonous snakes i was uh, noting kaidi's reaction to its presence so he was noticing he was observing okay very thoroughly closely what was the reaction of uh, the young tiger kaidi okay at the presence of uh, uh, the snake the crate Khairi was curious to know more about this strange new creature. Every time the crate got too close to Khairi, I would pull it back by its tail. Okay, so when he found that crate, Khairi became so curious to know more about this new creature in the house. Okay, as it was going closer to uh, the crate. Surat Chandran Chaudhary was pulling the crate, the snake, okay, holding his tail from back. This went for some time, went on for some time. At some point, I must have been a little unmindful. So, in this uh, action, in this uh, course of action, he might have been somehow unmindful. Absent-minded, so due to that, what happened? It turned around and bit me. So the crate, the snake, turned around and bit him. I immediately tied a blanket above that and got the poison out. So he made the good treatment, the first aid. Okay, that was to hold, to tie with a blanket which was available then, and he tried to. Uh, pull out that uh, poison from his body. I saw the doctor as soon as possible. Luckily, it was a baby. It was a baby crate. Otherwise, something dangerous would have happened with him. Okay, something fatal might have been happened with him. But to his fortune, it was a baby crate. But still, some of the poison got into my bloodstream. And as a result, I am now a permanent patient of hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is hypoglycemia is such a uh, ailment. Disability that in one's body the pressure, blood pressure will be always low. Okay, so he suffered. He suffered and a permanent. Okay, the disease will be permanent, though it cannot be called a disease, but an ailment. Okay, so that will be permanent in his body. Okay, that all the time the blood the blood pressure will remain low. So he suffered throughout his life. Okay, though he could save his life, but he suffered throughout his life. By the time he finishes this astonishing story, this was quite astonishing. Okay, a great with a tiger. Okay, and how it was uh, fatal to him. Jambu took a fancy to me and climbed behind to give me his bear hug. So when both were sitting together, there was a Sloth bear, and the bear was moving round the room, and it came behind the narrator, uh, Hari Haran Balakrishna, and it hold from his back. But a stand alone from Sorod was enough to destroy him from his expression of fondness. So, but Sorod Nathodri was very much uh, alert then, and uh, he knew. About the expression from Haryana and a stand no, stand sudden reaction. Okay, a stand, and he said the stand is no, a sudden no, a sudden no. Okay, stand means a sudden reaction. Okay, of denial. Sudden reaction of a denial that is with no 
okay made him dissuade him dissuade what do you mean by dissuade dissuade means uh, that is about persuade you know opposite to persuade persuade means encourage or motivate okay so opposite to encourage or motivate that is to discourage or demotivate okay that is uh, discourage or demotivate okay so that stock bear was uh, demotivated and he dissuaded from its uh, expression of fondness okay he came so near so close to hariharan the narrator okay but out of fondness out of love it came so close but with no with uh, the stand with no he dissuaded okay and then in the meantime as the day progressed between our conversations and the intermittent crackle intermittent intermittent means a continuous continuous in irregular or regular intervals there will be some intervals but do not regular maybe regular maybe irregular but continuous okay so in that continuous so in his during the conversation there came signals from wireless that is a vhf vhf means a very high frequency okay he had some device he was collecting some information from the forest okay from the deep in the forest and intermittent signals intermittent crackle crackle means a sound was coming from that uh, vhf and uh, which he was giving instructions to the men in the forest so some people were engaged in the forest to collect information and he was giving them instructions okay how to work there inside the forest i got to know where i to the joint family that was living inside the compound and in this uh, meeting he came to know he visited okay some other creatures uh, uh, kept in that uh, menagery and those creatures were a mongoose a pangolin wild uh, cat twins a country dog and a blind hyena okay so different uh, creatures of different species different animals different of different species were kept together okay and but all these creatures have been procured have been brought to that menagery in different times so each had a name and they were given names okay to identify yes so this is about the description of uh, the menagery he visited okay uh, this uh, so with surajra choudhary so in our uh, this is the end of our third unit now the fourth unit okay so in fourth unit how did surajra choudhary came across khai okay so that was about this menagri in third unit we discuss and here in fourth unit the meeting with hey okay and uh, about surod about uh, khairi in what conditions it was brought and that was the introduction with surod ra choudhary okay so here he narrates according to surod ra choudhary the story of uh, khairi was that khairi story started on october 5 1974 5th october 1974 okay when well, 12 khriya tribes of similipa tribes are there okay so different tribes are living in different uh, tribal places okay so 
of similipal tribals of similipal are called khari khariya okay they are called khariya like uh, in uh, kandamal they are kanda okay and uh, in karapur they are santal so different different uh, uh, tribes are named in different different places so here from similipal khariya tribals brought a two month old tiger cub to surajraj choudhury an officer of the indian forest service so then he was an ifs he was an i f s okay he was an officer i f s officer okay he was a working as an officer in i f s indian forest service okay then he was working as a indian as an officer in indian uh, forest service some tribes brought this khairia brought a tiger cub of 2 months old to him and suraj noticed that it was a female famis and confused famis famis means uh, hungry okay act confused two months old tiger when it is alone when it is away from uh, its mother it must be confused it must be uh, terrified okay so he the first experience of what was to become his passion in life was angry snarls and scratching claws okay so it was two months old tiger is a and wild animal but in its infancy right from its infancy its tendency of becoming wild is found okay so sarojra choudhury noticed in this two months cub of a tiger that how it was snarling and snarling means it is barking or growling okay growling means creating a noise out from uh, one's throat that is a growling and from its growling and scratching with its nails to the ground that proved that it must be an wild animal okay though it was so harmless then in its infancy it was uh, wild from its activities okay but the veteran forester and the instinctive lover of wildlife sorojra choudhury knew how to handle a hungry angry cub so he was a professional wild wild lover so he could know he had that knowledge of controlling a hungry and angry cub okay so that the cub was hungry and angry okay so how to control it he knew that and he applied that what he did he imitated the sounds of a mother tigress okay mother tigress so imitated imitated means uh, duplicate okay he created a voice of a tigress mother tigress okay so he knew how to create a noise create a sound of a mother tigress and due to which the cub of two months felt the mother with it okay and within minutes her confidence was firmly anchored in the fostering human okay so and he came into the control of uh, the human sorojra choudhury he could control okay creating that uh, uh, cry okay that sound of uh, a tiger a mother tigress and he brought it into his control and is how he recalled those first few minutes between the legends so between the legends here he uses the word legends that is two legends that means sarojra choudhury and hai okay so from this hariya uh, tribal the nail the nail had been christened to the tiger 
Khairi. Okay, from Khairiya, Khairi. Okay, so here he introduces two legends. Okay, one is uh, uh, Khairi, another is Sarodra Chowdhury. Early next morning, early next morning, so the day was over, the night he spent there, and the next morning, Sarodra started for his inspection of a tiger reserve area. Okay, so he went. That was uh, the day when they stayed at home. Okay, and they converged. But now the next day, they went inside the forest on a inspection. I tagged along the jeep that snagged through narrow roads in the woods amidst lust, lust foliage. So the but the um, forest was green, okay, and uh, it was, the, the roads were snack. Snack means a bent. So here, from snack, it is snack. Okay, from snack, it is snack. Snack is a noun, and snack is a verb. Okay, he uses here snack. That means as a snack proceeds, the roads were in bent. Okay, so they he tagged to that uh, jeep because the, the roads were uh, uh, uneven. So he sat in the jeep. Okay, so he tied himself in the jeep and uh, snagged through the narrow road in the woods. I mean, it's the last foliage. Last foliage. Last foliage means green. My mother gave me a gun for my eighth. But today, so on the way, he told about his childhood days. Okay, so Rajaram Chaudhary he told about his childhood days when he was eight years old. His mother had gifted him a gun. Okay, and with that gun, as a young man, I shot wildlife with a bandhan. So then, at the age of eight, as a child, he did not know anything about wildlife, but. He killed so many wild animals, abandoned. Abandoned means carelessly. Okay, there is no bound. So, with abandon, without restriction. Okay, without restriction, he killed so many wild animals. But later, I realized that there is a great happiness in conserving these beautiful animals that do no wanton harm to man. But later, he realized that what wrong was. Uh, Doing and how wrong he was then killing the harmless animals. Okay, as long as a wild animal is harmless, so long it should not be killed. Okay, he realizes that. Okay, later and uh, is one of the things he told me about his life during that long travel and in, his, in that long travel in the forest he told about his own story how he started loving these wild animals but uh, uh, when he was a child of eight when he was young he killed so many wild animals without any restriction okay but later he became so kind and he became so uh, lovable to these uh, wild animals now at the time he was an authority on the tiger and the director of uh, Project Tiger in India. So then, when he met him, he, sorry, when that Khairiya was Khairi was brought to him, he was uh, the tiger director of a Project Tiger in India. Okay, so and these Project Tiger that are this Project Tiger in India were formed were founded only to uh, conserve the uh, tiger life. Okay, Soros introduces the tiger tracing method of tiger census. Okay, so here tiger tracing method. Method. So this is the method which is used to count the number of in, uh, number of tigers in the forest. Okay. So this is called tiger tracing method. Okay, the census. Census means counting number. 
from here. Okay, so the population, the population of a tiger will be traced, will be counted. Okay, with this uh, method, and we told about uh, uh, the method how these uh, tiger, the population of tiger is uh, determined. Where the pack marks of each animal with the distinctive measurements and characteristics are meticulously recorded. So, with the help of this method, the pack marks, the footprints of uh, the tigers will be determined, and with the help of the, the size and uh, the form of that pack marks, the footprints, the uh, population will be determined, and how old the tiger is, how young the tiger must be, everything will be detected and accordingly the population can be determined for the night. So that night, the first night they lived there and here when they are in the forest that night they spent there, okay, in, uh, in the forest. So we camp at a guest house deep in the jungle. So that night they lived in the jungle in a guest house and it was a wooden structure with a functional room. This was a wooden room but with functional rooms and a bath. Functional rooms. Functional room, functional means a room which is which looks like a room but not a room. Okay. And with a bath. That means all the functions could be done there. Okay. Like a room and that was a guest house inside the forest and it was built on a still okay it was built on stills and stood a good 15 feet above the ground so that is called mancha okay and 15 feet above uh, the ground the um, guest house was built and it was a, it is called a mancha okay and I experienced it for the first time one night a top magnificent months. So he lived there for that night and it was a great experience for him to live inside the forest in a month with a genius, with a legend, Sorozra Chaudhary. So this is all about our second unit, sorry, uh, fourth unit. Now unit 5. That was the first meeting and in that meeting he experienced a lot with uh, two legends. One is Khairi and another uh, Sorojra Chaudhary. Now, in the fifth unit, I went to Khairi Jasipur again after three months. Okay, so after three months of interval, he again visited Khairi Jasipur to meet these two legends. Okay, so then, as I wanted to know more about Khairi, Suraj was gracious enough to welcome me once again, and this time also he got a gracious uh, welcome from Suraj Raj Chaudhary. In addition to my old friends in that house, this time I found a 8 foot long edition, a long python. Okay, so he went there. So after 3 months, when he visited there, he found a new guest, a new creature in that menagerie. So from this you can say that in regular intervals, there were coming so many different creatures into that menagerie. Okay, so again he went there after three months to know more about Khairi, the tigers, the legend. Okay, and within the next couple of hours, I continued my quest of the man and his passion. So again they conversed. He sat with uh, Suradra Chaudhary and talked more. Okay, this time he got some more information from Suradra Chaudhary about uh, his uh, mission and about his uh, vision. Okay, but then there was a wireless message. But this time, he got a wireless message from the wildlife, World Wildlife Fund, WWF, WWF, okay, that is 
월가 월 라이프 Okay, from this organization, he got a message on wireless. Okay, so wireless message he got from this uh, World World Wildlife Fund. Okay, and so it was asked to immediately catch a flight for an important meeting at New Delhi the next day. So suddenly, okay, without any uh, prior information, he got a message. And an object message from World Wildlife Fund to attend a meeting at New Delhi. Okay, so we have to go that. So that meeting could not be, could not uh, continue. Okay, for a long time. So we have to take leave from uh, the narrator Hariharan, who we drove to Damdam Airport. So from Simlipa, sorry, from uh, Khairi Jasipur. They went to Kolkata, Damdam Airport, where so he got a flight to New Delhi, and there he see, saw of him. Saw of. See of. Saw of is the past of her. See of. Okay. See of means to. When we leave, then we see off. Okay, take leave. Okay, so I saw him off at Calcutta. That was the last time I met uh, this legend behind a legend. This legend behind a legend. So who is uh, who he is uh, describing about uh, the legend behind a legend? Sarojra Chaudhary is behind. To make him a legend. Okay, so that means uh, a tiger to be domesticated. A tiger is a wild uh, animal. When it is domesticated, then it becomes something different, something special. And this speciality was brought in that tigers, Khairi, by this legend, Sorozra Chodhari. So he became a legend behind. A legend, and in just over three months, Khairi died. Okay, after three months of his visit, the tiger died, and Sorojra Chaudhary did not live much longer. And after the death of the legend, another legend, Sorojra Chaudhary, who was behind making the tiger a legend, died. He also could not live longer, but. A unique tale of uh, the tiger under there. Yes, this is uh, really a unique uh, tale story about uh, the tiger. A salute is due at least now, 25 years hence. So, this is an untold story of uh, two legends. This is an untold story. Nowhere it has been described. Okay, nobody has cared and. Sorojra Chaudhary also never minded to be publicized in the public. Okay, so but still a salute is due, a salute is due, a tribute is due to these two legends for their achievements and for their contribution to the wildlife. Okay, and after 25 years. Still, the salute is due. That means something must be done. Many things are awaited to be done even after 25 years of this uh, legendary, okay, legendary story. That means still there are there is a lot of things to be done to save our wildlife. So this is all about our the legend behind the legend written by Hari Haran Balakrishnan. Hope you understand this, but for your better understanding, you have to you must go through the chapter in detail and encasing all the new words into your vocabulary section 
Okay, so so that you will be comfortable to answer any question if comes on your way. Thank you. Thank you.